S2. Joe Paterno, weeks after hip surgery, coaching the game for the press box for Penn State. USC making their 33rd Rose Bowl appearance. That's 11 more appearances than any school has made in any bowl. Lee Corso made his prediction earlier on college game day. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, there he comes. Right on, dun, dun, USC. Dun, dun. Let me tell you something. <laughs> and you keep you went over there. Happy New Year. You, I picked USC to win a national title. They're getting screwed. They should be in Miami. I'm telling you. Wow. Go, fight on, USC. Herbie goes through a lot sitting next to Lee. Now look at the costumes for USC. The Trojan Warrior and Lee, well, he's doing his best. First quarter, Mark Sanchez gets hit by Aaron Maven. The ball comes out. It's recovered by Penn State. But wait. Offsides called on Penn State. Costly mistake. Watch Mabin lined up offsides. Turnover negated. Joe Pa not happy in the box. USC and the drive continues. Sanchez over the middle to Damian Williams. 27 yards. What happened on the play? My favorite thing here, ESPN access. As Sanchez drops back to pass, take a look at the Penn State defense. Sanchez doing a great job looking off corner. Tony Davis then throws back over the middle to Williams running the post route. Williams makes the catch for the touchdown. He had 10 catches, a career high 162 yards. SC up 7 0. Ensuing Penn State drive. Daryl Clark, the keeper here, up the middle for the touchdown. We got a good one early. Penn State tied the game up seven apiece. Start of the second quarter. Injuries hurting both teams. Penn State running back Evan Royster getting his left knee, putting a brace on the sidelines. His day was done. USC now driving. Sanchez to Joe McKnight. Touted as the next Reggie Bush. Take a look here. McKnight going down. His left foot, he re-aggravates a sprain. Toe injury, he did not return. So both starting running backs out with injuries. Later in the SC drive, Sanchez keeping it. SC now up 14-7. Later in the second quarter, now 17-7 Sanchez. The bullet to Ronald Johnson. And just like that, Trojans up 24-7. Time for the replacements. Mentioned before, both starting running backs out. Under two minutes to go in the half, Stephon Green in the backfield replacing Royster for Penn State. Screen to Green, this guy has so much speed. Sometimes, though, he coughs the ball up. 30-yard gain here and trouble for Penn State. He coughs it up, recovered by SC. Pete Carroll pumped up for his Trojans defense. That's because the offense responds. They make Penn State pay. C.J. Gable taking over for McKnight. So they got an All-American, another All-American, another All-American. Screen to Gable, 20 yards. SC now up 31 to seven. Trojans scored 31 points in the first half, the most allowed by Penn State in an entire game this season. What adjustments would Joe Paul make at the half? Here's our Lisa Salters. Joe Paterno did not come down to the locker room to talk to the guys, but he did send them a message. He told them to play Penn State football. Yes, Penn State football has him down 31 to 7. A coach not going into the half in the locker room. Strange. Fourth quarter, Penn State coming back. Clark rolling left, finding Derek Williams. SC's defense giving up less than eight points per game, and it's now 31-14. USC responding. How is Ronald Johnson this wide open? Are you kidding me? 45 yards. Touchdown. One more look. Sanchez, the great play fake. And when he play fakes, it freezes Penn State corner Lydell Sargent, who has his eyes in the backfield. Johnson blowing right by him. USC up 38-14. Sanchez, 413 passing yards, second best in Rose Bowl history. Penn State, though, coming back. Down 38-24. Clark hit as he throws. Intercepted by Will Harris. And that turnover puts the game in the books. Pete Carroll celebrating his third consecutive Rose Bowl win. Darrell Clark did all he could. Sanchez dreaming of this a long time, celebrating with the USC band. 38-24 the final. Their 31 bowl wins for USC tied all time with Alabama for now. After the game, John Saunders asked Pete Carroll, who will win the national title game, Florida or Oklahoma? 19 Virginia Tech, you know, the ACC has lost eight straight BCS bowl games. Yeah, they're counting. Cincinnati school record 11 wins this year. First quarter scoreless, third and nine. Cincinnati, all Big East quarterback Tony Pike. He threw for 239 yards. And this touchdown, what a catch by Marty Gilliard. Seven catches, 158 yards. He had 255 all-purpose yards as you take another look. He gets the foot down in bounds. It's 7-0 Bearcats. Same score in the second. Tyrod Taylor. He's going to scramble, get away from six Cincy defenders. There's one, Terrell Bird. Two would be Orion Manilak. There's the miss. Number three, 
Taylor just jukes Corey Smith. And 4, 5, and 6, running back Darren Evans takes out three defenders with one block. Taylor, 185 total yards. Impressive. And the touchdown. We're tied. What about the defense by the Hokies? Pike. Uh, Steven Virgil is there for the interception. And Pike just had an awful, awful game. Missed chance for the Bearcats. Fourth quarter, Cincinnati down six. Pike pressured. We'll try to get rid of it on the screen, but uh, O'Roy and Martin, the diving pick. Pike had four interceptions in this game. Take another look. You saw it. Yikes. Ensuing possession, Darren Evans. What a game. What a move. 154 rushing yards and a touchdown. It's 27 Hokies. Late fourth. Fourth and goal from the one. Pike. Tries to get around the right end, but it's stopped short by Barkwell Rivers, and Virginia Tech wins it 20 to 7. The ACC was 0 for 8 in BCS play before Vatek stopped the skid. Take it on Michigan State. First quarter, Matthew Stafford picked off by Kendall Davis Clark, who returns it to the 11. Stafford, nervous first half, very rough. 6 of 14, 71 yards, zero touchdowns, very unstafford like to the third quarter, third and five, Georgia down three, driving. Here's the Stafford we know to Michael Moore. Yeah, I'll tell you, we started to see why NFL scouts covered Stafford in this second half. Stafford to Moore again, touchdown Bulldogs. They're up 10-6 after a 10-play, 96-yard drive. The next play, Stafford back to work. This time the target, Aaron White. Stafford set a single season school record with 25 touchdown passes this year. But in the fourth, it's a 17-12 game. Georgia up Stafford to Nushan Moreno, 21 yards. Touchdown, Bulldogs lead 24-12. Stafford turned it around in that second half, 14-17, 179 yards. He threw three touchdowns in the last 18 minutes of this game. Fourth quarter, Brian Hoyer sacked by Jarius Wynn. Georgia had six sacks against the Spartans. Stafford named the game's MVP. Next stop for Stafford, the NFL perhaps. He says it's going to be an extremely hard decision. Clemson. Cornhusker loss would give them the all-time bowl lead. Early in the third, Huskers down 11. Joe Gantz up top to Nate Swift. What a grab by Swift. Fingertip catch. Nebraska scores 20 points in the third. They were up 23-21 in the fourth. Now Gantz in the fourth, rolling to his left. He completes the pass to Marlon Lucky. After the throw, Gantz taken down hard. One more look. Courtney Brown delivering the pain. Gantz leaves the game. In comes Patrick Witt, the backup. Now Witt's first play from scrimmage, he decides to keep the ball, and he would pay for it. Getting crushed by the Clemson defense. The ball pops loose. Byron Maxwell scoops it up and sees a lot of real estate. That's a quick touchdown, but wait. Witt's knee may have saved him before he gets leveled. He's ruled down before the ball comes out because his knee hits the ground. Touchdown reverse. Clemson still down two. Under two minutes left. Clemson driving down five. Second and goal. Watch Nebraska cornerback Eric Hag blitzing untouched. Cullen Harper. You can't take a sack right here. You just can't. So now third and goal from the 26. Harper going to the end zone for C.J. Spiller. Perfect pass. Spiller, oh, Spiller said he let the team down afterwards. So one more chance for Clemson. Harper, the pass, and no good. Nebraska wins 26-21. Cornhuskers win four straight to finish 9-4. and four. Day turning on the Outback Bowl. Who doesn't? First football game in 09 featuring Sean Green in Iowa against South Carolina. This one all about Green. The Doak Walker winner given to the best running back in the nation, moving the chains. A couple plays later, Green, 18th rushing touchdown. That's an Iowa school record. 14 0 Hawkeyes. More from Green. He's the Big Ten MVP. 121 yards on the day. Rushed for over 100 in every game this season. Afterward, he would said he would enter the NFL draft. He deserves it. Green sat out in the 2007 season because of his grades. Worked at a furniture store. 20th touchdown of the year right here. This one all about Iowa. 